I just like the sound. Wahane, wahane, wahane. Ah. Read, remember, repeat. I had to fight like a hundred nights. Well, never I did a hundred nights. You think you cool with a hundred lights? You think it's cool for Y'all know what comes first in this show. We definitely showing love. If y'all know my body, y'all know we showing some love on this show. Shout outs to Doc Spills and Iron Mastery Academy. Like I told you, they making trading simple. Learning how to invest by just simply matching your colors. You match your colors and you win trades, man. I'm telling you guys, this is simple. And I think this is what we all should be getting into as far as managing our own money and managing our own finances. Talking about pains and diamonds. Wrist watch, go TikTok. But it ain't there for the timing. I put that boy on payroll. He conversate with the clients. And surround your mind with greatness. Some of it will rub off. This is my office. This is where I start my day. And every day, I read something. Form a habit of reading every day. It's about progress. And focus. And always, 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 family, remember this. Read, remember, and repeat. Oh, All man, you have to do with that. that man. Big Mitch, man. Thank you. Phenomenal, phenomenal day, family. You guys are back. If you are here to a re another, another re remember, repeat. And uh, we on a new book, Napoleon Hill's Philosophy of Success, the 17 original lessons, never before published, right? So that makes you think that Napoleon Hill possibly left this message or left uh, this body of work before he passed away, right? The 17 original lessons. And... Now we're getting it, right? It, it was published in, in, in 2019, so it's 2022. Wow, let's go. You know what I mean? This, his name lives on forever. When you are great, you know what I mean? Your, lay, your, your name will live on forever. When you write things down, you can pass them down for years and years to come. So this is important, right? And um, Napoleon Hill, he studied success uh, uh, through through a bunch of uh, uh, millionaires and, and, and a bunch of successful people. So we just gonna jump right in, right? Let's jump right into it. I'm very happy now to come to the how-to division of this chapter, wherein I shall give you detailed step-by-step -step instruction in applying these principles in the attainment of your own plans and purposes. Number one, write out a definite, clear, concise plan by which you intend to achieve your definite major purpose. State the maximum amount of time you are allowing for the fulfillment of your desire. Break the achievement down into units of effort that are in the realm of possibility and probability. Two, describe exactly what you intend to give in return for the realization of your purpose. Three, there is no such reality as something for nothing. Everything has a price tag on it, and you must be willing to read the price tag and to pay it in full before you get the object of your desire. This price must usually be paid in advance. It is possible to pay it on the installment plan and in easy steps, but the total price must be paid before the object of your desire becomes your own. Number four, make your plan flexible so as to permit change. Your definite major purpose, if it is really that, will not change until it is fulfilled. But the plan for achieving that purpose may change many times. Infinite intelligence may reveal to you a plan that is far superior for your purpose to the one you dreamed of. Stand ready at all times to receive, accept gladly, and gratefully and willingly adopt any better plans which occur to your mind out of the blue. Five. Remember to call your major purpose and your plans into your conscious mind as often as may be practical. Eat with them, sleep with them, take them with you wherever you go. Bear in mind the fact that your subconscious mind can thus be influenced to work for the attainment of your major purpose while you are asleep. Keep your mind on the things that you want and off the things that you don't want until your major purpose becomes a burning desire. Remember, Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Vividly visualize in your mind your definite major purpose and your other real desires or goals. 
Each time you imagine a goal, repeat these words 10 times. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goal. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goal. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. I vividly visualize myself as the person I want to be, and I am enthusiastically achieving my goals. Chapter 2, The Mastermind Alliance. The mastermind principles makes it possible for an individual through association with others to acquire and utilize all of the knowledge needed for attaining any desired goal. Family, we're going to go to source time. Once we're done with source time, we'll be right back. Hey, so listen, CEOs. Understanding that a lot of people is going to die with perfect credit. I see people work 40 to 60 years of their life, pay their bills on time, and then die with great credit, never using it, never leveraging it. Here's the thing, in order for banks to make money, they gotta loan it out. So if they have to loan it out to make money, why are you sitting on great credit? Why are you not making any moves? This is why March 17th, we have a call on how to secure funding. Use the bank's money to fund your dreams and goals instead of funding People's Gas and Comcast. The link is in my bio. Register today so you don't miss out on how to secure the bag. And we are back, family. Ready to jump right into chapter two. So let's go. To begin with, the mastermind principle consists of an alliance of two or more minds working in perfect harmony for the attainment of a definite objective. No one has ever attained outstanding success in the upper bracket of any calling without applying the mastermind principle. This is because no one mind is complete by itself. All truly great minds have been reinforced through contacts with other minds. Every mind needs association and contact with other minds in order to grow and expand. Sometimes this reinforcement or amplification takes place accidentally. Without the individual's awareness, of what is happening or how it is happening. The very greatest minds, however, are the result of deliberate understanding and use of this mastermind principle, which may be one reason why there are a few truly great masterminds. Several fundamental principles are connected with the subject. The first one is that the mastermind principle is a practical medium through which you may appropriate and use the full benefits of the experience training, education, specialized knowledge, and native intelligence of other people as completely as if they were your own. Now, isn't this a wonderful privilege? You can use the expert knowledge of such allies as geologists, chemists, other scientists, the accumulated knowledge of mankind, and of course, the entire philosophy of the science of personal achievement. The second principle is harmony. An active alliance of two or more minds in a spirit of perfect harmony for the attainment of a common objective stimulates each mind to a higher degree of courage than ordinarily experienced and paves the way for that state of mind known as faith. There must be a complete meeting of the minds. Without reservation on the part of any member, there must be accord in the facts, agreement in the opinions, and an absolute community of interest in a definite objective. Each member of the alliance must subordinate his own personal ambitions to the fulfillment and successful achievement of the definite 
purpose of the alliance. Now, this kind of harmony is not achieved immediately. It is cultivated and grows based upon these four elements, confidence, understanding, fairness, and justice. Confidence is reliance or assurance based on fidelity. The purpose of the alliance should never be discussed outside the ranks of the members unless this purpose happens to be the performance of some public service. Understanding means the complete knowledge of the nature, significance, and implications of a situation or proposition and to have a tolerant or sympathetic attitude toward it. Each member of the alliance must be in sympathy with the definite purpose that is undertaken. Each one agrees that it is a good idea and one to which he will give wholehearted support. Fairness indicates the absence of any partially favor or prejudice. It, is all, it also shows freedom from bias and selfishness. Justice implies that no one member of the alliance is seeking unfair advantage or selfish purpose at the expense of the other members. Every mind is equipped to both send and receive thought vibrations. This process of communication between the minds of individuals is going around all the time. Although they are really conscious of the fact, this truth has great significance in connection with the mastermind principles. It has been proved conclusively that a mind whose alertness has been increased through mastermind stimulation becomes much more receptive to thoughts released by other minds than it would be under normal circumstances. Likewise, the mind of the individual thus stimulated has greater power to project the thought vibrations of his own mind to the minds of others. Nature's building blocks are available to man in the form of thought energy. When two or more minds coordinate their thinking in the spirit of harmony and work toward a definite objective, they place themselves in a position to absorb power directly from the great universal storehouse of infinite intelligence. This is the greatest of all sources of power. Now, here is an important consideration. One man with a negative attitude can influence a thousand others in an organization without ever saying a word. The medium of contact is telepathy. Your mind is constantly in tune with every other mind within its range. Whatever that range happens to be, some minds have a much longer range than others. You are constantly picking up the thoughts of other people and often mistaking them for your own thoughts. This is why you cannot afford to remain in a negative atmosphere unless you have a technique for protecting your mind from these negative broadcasts. Family, that is our time. And you can see this book is really getting deep, right? But we're going to get deep on the next episode. And I see y'all. Read, remember, repeat. Let's go, gang. You think you're cool with a hundred lights? You think it's cool for a hundred nights? This year I'm taking a hundred flights. I mean, good for a hundred nights. Peach cobbler, sweet potato. Presidential, the outcome evidential. We strive for higher mental. This time, no accidental. We shine because we special. No Kim, Kali, or Kendall. The others, I ain't forget you. Some stories just isn't mental. I'm loving this instrumental. Hey, I write my life down with a pencil. Hey, never paid attention, but I should've. Never finished blocks, the shorty just got shot Outside of the sandbox, it ain't inspiring Product of the environment, tired of seeing these niggas dying Mothers and fathers crying, we all here to iron Did you hear it too? Or maybe this one, it ain't meant for you I think about now and when I finish too I think about mind, body, and spiritual Like leaving something going, you still feel it too And writing these bars, know what I finna do Put it on the wall and laugh about how we did it too I'm praying all the good for you, but dog, I don't really know what's good for you. But listen to the end of you and don't believe in difficult. Focus on the visual, I swear we going digital. Bitcoin rising, this shit is visible. If you listen to those raps, this shit is minimal. 
Unless you out here trying to be a criminal Most of the shit is taken from us, it ain't additional No broken bones, but this medicinal lab I get the feeling that you wishing you could go get it now Everybody that's around start to look like a crowd You gotta look inside yourself and start from the ground Analyze who is there and analyze who is not I ain't talking about family, I ain't talking about the block I'm talking about you and everything that you got The conductor of the train, I only wanna make it stop And the pilot on the plane, I only wanna make it hot That's when I found out it was cream in the crops I'm on my way to the top and now I'm getting a lot Push forms off of the lot, dividing them in the lots I look like I hit a lot, we turning up on the yacht We shining a billion watts, we tying a trillion knots They trying to boycott, they want with the boycott Damn Ha.